All right, what we have here. All right, folks, here's what we're going to do today. Today, I'm going to show you a little secret, okay? Um, things that, you know, everybody in the leather industry does things differently. And um, I'm talking about today how you cut your leather, all right? So I have a couple of things over here, which I'm going to show you how how I do it, and also the new thing that we're going to be doing moving forward. As you know, I do everything by hand. And if you search YouTube videos, all right, um, and you see a lot of people cutting uh, leather differently because everybody's been taught differently, which is perfectly fine. Um, this is uh, my pattern for my minimalist wallet. It's, it's one, you know, it's with the side pocket of my pattern, uh, my minimalist wallet. So that be said, when I, let's say I buy a piece of leather and I want to make 20 wallets, I need to get 40 pieces of this, right? Now remember that, and again, everything that we do here is by hand. You know, if you had a machine, if you have a, a die, which is, um, a, also a pattern that goes in the machine that's electric and you press press uh, cut so you can actually cut this 40 or 20 pieces in just a matter of minutes if I was to do it myself it takes me a little more time uh, that's why the beauty of having things made by hand so let's say for instance I wanted to to do this right to cut let's say a couple of pieces of this this is my pattern that I use and what I do Okay, what I do is I put a little bit of glue in the back here. As you can see, you can see it's glue here. All right. Now, this is a technique that I learned when I learned my, my uh, leather craft uh, back in the old days. I never seen, what I have seen actually uh, on videos is, I'm going to show you what I've seen. Um, that people, need, let's say for instance, they're going to, I'm just using remnants of leather here to show you. Let's say somebody wants to get a piece like this so what they do is they use a tracer something like this and they trace the piece which I'm gonna do it here okay they trace the piece like this I hope you can see I'm sorry folks if you know I'm not a filmmaker all right so they trade the piece and then they use by using the cutter right they cut the piece right so they they do things like this I'm just gonna go and see right Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna be cutting it just like I've seen it on some videos on YouTube and remember there's nothing wrong with this technique it's just how people feel comfortable working with you know um, I don't particularly use this technique many people do that doesn't mean they're using the wrong technique they are they made beautiful articles of leather what can I tell you so this is the one right so if they want to cut this piece this is how they cut now the way I do it, okay, it's a little bit different. If I need to cut this piece of leather, what I do, and again, I put the glue on this side. Now, you have to be very careful on how much glue you put here. Because if you put, this is something that you learn with experience and throughout the years. If you put too much glue here, it's going to stack way too hard on the leather and it's going to rip the paint right off the leather. That's why you always want to use a good quality quality leather. Okay, cheap leathers are everywhere. Good leathers are a little bit more money, but uh, you know, remember you what you pay for. So, if I was to cut this piece here, what I'll do is I just put the glue here, right? Let it dry. Sorry about my nails, but I'm you know they are they are all felt or dirty, but I'm working in a dirty dirty area here. Um, so I put the glue here, all right? I put my pattern down and then I press a little bit, not too hard, not too hard. And this is gonna give me a little more stability if I was to, if I was to just cut the piece of leather without the, the pattern glue, all right? And also give me a little bit of mobility. What I mean by that is, let's say for instance, I'm gonna cut it now. Okay. So I can actually move it and you see it's not it's not coming off the leather, you see?
So this is the piece of leather that I cut from the leather. Now, when I take it apart, once you get comfortable with this technique, what you're gonna be doing is you're just gonna pick it up, take it from here, and rip it apart. Rip it right out because you're comfortable with it. Now, because you're not comfortable, you just wanna kind of peel off the piece nice and easy as you can see here. Okay, this is a perfect piece of leather. Absolutely beautiful. Now, to me, this te technique works. Was perfectly fine. This is how I've been doing the the leathers for the past couple of uh, years. Now, that we're gonna be doing in the future is very simple. Let me introduce you to this company, which is called May Supply. In I think they believe uh, they are based in Philadelphia. Pretty sure. So I send them. Actually, I went to his website and I bought this piece. I just wanted to try it out, right? If this thing would work. I know it would work because I actually, I had work in the past with this type of material. But again, this piece is made with a laser machine, which I don't have. So, and, and they, they did good price. I mean, this this company is good. It's, it's a great price. So I purchased this because it has corners. This is a straight corner quarter round, a quarter inch, half an inch, three quarters of an inch of a circle, which is fine. So we're gonna use this the same way we use this, all right? The difference is this is compressed cardboard and this is acrylic. This one will last 100 years, this one will not. Uh, because again, uh, compressed cardboard and since you're dealing with a sharp knife chances are you eventually going to be cutting the edges all around here and the borders and the corners and all those things so this thing is going to go from a perfect pattern to one that it gets all wobbly and things like that you know what I mean so that being said let me show you if I was to cut if I was to cut a piece here right i want to use the same the same thing i just put a little bit of glue back here okay so i was gonna do this piece here right i'm just gonna put it let's see if i can actually i'll do it right over here look i need to maximize my leather here so i'm gonna do this and you're gonna see i put the piece here i'm gonna press a little bit down i hope you can see it right i'm gonna press a little bit down not too much the per, the reason you put glue in this is because you don't want the piece to move right now two things happen here uh, uh cement and chrome excel now remember this leather is very oily okay and again you want to put the right amount of glue so you don't so you don't damage the leather when you peel it over you take it apart so let's do this okay It cuts like butter it really does so you see how I can move you see how I can move the piece the leather and my my piece is still right where it's supposed to be it hasn't moved and again is because he has the right amount of glue okay not too much not too little if you put too little your piece moved if you put too much it would not move but when you peel it off you're gonna take out the paint okay so let me show you how I do this Okay, now at this point, I actually can move the piece with absolutely no problem. Okay, now, you see how it came out? Absolutely gorgeous. Now, this is precision cutting without the machine that I was talking about before, the, uh, the die, the press cutting machine. Because I want it to be by hand, right? So this is absolutely, so if you need to buy, to, let's say for instance, cut 100 pieces, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go and be so much fast. If you wanna peel it off, all you gotta do is take it from here and just comes right off so easy, look. It basically, you know, it's like cooking uh, ribs. You know, when they fall right off the bone, the leather here falls off right off the pattern, all right? So if you need to, if you need to cut a whole bunch of them, just like I did before, you see, folks? Absolutely beautiful. And this is the tool that we use um, 
I'm gonna have uh, this company make supply make all of my patterns in this because it's precision. And when you do something by hand, that's what you want to do, precise, okay? Um, and again, um, I never seen anybody doing it this way, except for the people back in the old country. Um, but it works for me, it's perfectly, it comes out absolutely perfect, look. Perfect edges everywhere. All right, folks, that's all I wanted to show you right now. Thank you so much, appreciate it. We'll be making another, I guess, another tutorial. Thank you very much. Thank you for your support. Be well, bye now.